Hey, remember me. This is Nelson Neverhart. I am the composer for King's Isles Wizard 101. And it's taken a little bit, but we are back with the Wizard 101 tour of the Spiral. This time we're looking at a track that I just wrote uh, a little while ago. That was actually one of the reasons for the delay. This is the theme for Unicorn Way in Wizard City. This expansion was just released a little while ago, and it presented a really unique challenge because all of a sudden uh, I have to write for a track that I wrote originally, you know, 11, 12 years ago. And so trying to get the sounds right, trying to get the composition to sound like it goes with the old track was a, was a very unique challenge and, and one that I looked forward to and, and had a really good time with. So the assignment from the developers was the Haunted Way theme. This piece takes place prior to defeating Rattlebones. The zone has been overrun by ghostly ghouls, skeleton pirates, and evil fairies. There's a blanket of fog in your feet and bats flying from all corners constantly. There's also debris scattered about. All this goes away after you defeat Rattlebones. Unicorn Way has now been liberated. After Rattlebones is defeated, it will then trigger your original piece, which was just called Wizard City 4 because I didn't know uh, what it was going to go to at the time. Making a haunted slash spooky piece that will complement the original piece that kicks in afterward. And trying to keep the continuity of Wizard City as well. But let's take a listen to the track and then I will talk about it for a little bit. Here you go. There's Lou. You've heard me talk about some of the uh, sound libraries that I used a lot for Wizard 101 before. I did kind of revisit that. Uh, this harp is used all throughout Wizard 101. So that was very integral into getting back into the feel of Wizard City, uh, as was this Celeste. That Celeste is from East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra, and I used it all over the beginning of Wizard City, trying to get that magical air. Uh, and speaking of air, there is a lot of noise in that sample. In some of those samples, you can hear the, the hiss kind of coming in and out. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with that or if they've fixed it. The, the sound of the celeste is just so important to get a lot of the high end of it. I guess they had a hard time kind of balancing noise versus what they actually wanted to keep. Uh, noise in that sample that you don't necessarily hear when it's buried with everything else. And honestly, it gives it, I you know, in the mix, it gives it a lot more uh, air and gives a sense of the space that it was recorded. And it sounds like the orchestra hall, you know. I also used a lot of 3-4 uh, time. As you'll see up here, that was something I did in Wizard City a lot, giving it that boom, bump, 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 bump. And of course, with that is the pizzicato strings. I'll 
also a Wizard City staple. In the beginning of writing music for this game, I was very conscious of needing to leave myself somewhere to uh, build up to in the later levels. So, I, I mean, my, my go-to is just to try and make it as big and epic as possible. But I intentionally wanted to limit myself. I tried to play with some of the you know quieter woodwinds, clarinets, and flutes. And bassoons and try and kept the you know the huge brass out of it because I, I knew I was going to go there eventually because you're going to have to fight a skeleton after that I wanted to have a lot of kind of clanky percussive samples in here suggesting that he was kind of around around the bend and I believe these are from Project Sam True Strike to library that there's a really good depth to this library a lot of different types of instruments and I it's not my main percussion library but I go to it when I need something uh, a little bit different or something a little more iconic and speaking of Project Sam I've used in a couple places the the TFO um, the free orchestra from Project Sam as a promotion they're giving out some free demos of their libraries and I'm using a couple called uh, ghostly clusters and wild winds for some of these more uh, effecty Kind of sounds they, they put a lot of thought into how how you tend to use these so this is wood this is a woodwind library but they have like a big bass drum that you can kind of use in there and it, and it helps you get some of the uh, stereotypical kind of film score effects going on Ooh, spooky Here's the ghostly clusters. This is more like strings and a little brass. And that is from my Project Sam Symphobia library. This episode not sponsored by Project Sam unfortunately and then another featured instrument here is this uh, viola so this is the the fisher viola library from embertone and it is a beautiful instrument it sounds so nice fortunately if i've got a lot of other things going on it starts to get a little bit flaky beautiful you can hear all the rosin on the bow it's got a lot of it's got some live feel without being sloppy speaks really quick you can do shorter notes with it uh and only one other thing to really note the organ there is having problems finding like a pipe organ i knew i wanted an organ to try and do the the haunted house feel in there the organ libraries i had just wasn't really cutting it so actually one of the sound designers suggested this library it's called the leeds organ i i had never heard of it before but it's a free library from sample phonics and one of the kind of presets to that organ wound up working really 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 well <laughs> And I didn't use it for a whole lot of lines, just reinforcing uh, certain lines going on. Did use it um, to double some of the lines here. These are answers. I didn't originally compose that melody. Uh, this is Toccata and Fugue in D minor, which I like to work into as many pieces as I possibly can. <laughs> but I also wanted to weave some of the themes from other pieces. So this is the remixed version of the Wizard City 4, the theme that's going to play after this one, after you liberate this area of uh, Unicorn Way. So you may have heard this piece before. If I fast forward it a bit... So that theme right there, I was listening to these pieces, trying to get my brain into this mode of writing. And I latched onto that theme, very major. This piece is in minor.
So that melody being borrowed from the other Wizard City melody is gonna help that kind of tie in. Also on a very armchair psychological level, you have a theme that's in minor and then later you present it as major. That is a liberation. That's taking something that's dark and making it light. And that's kind of what we're doing in this part of the world. So then similarly, later on here, we've got the horns. Clarinet's doing it. And every time it comes back, it's it's slightly different. There's minor versions of it, there's major versions of it, and there's kind of these somewhere in between that's kind of making it sound a little more melancholy than it will eventually get to sound. Uh, that might also sound familiar. If you want to hear it in its original form, it's more like... Uh, and now here's another theme that's a little more obscure. And that theme might sound familiar from this piece. So I took a little, the first little bit of that from the Wizard City Haunted Caves theme. The little, uh, da -da -da -da. I like finding little pieces of other themes and then trying to, you know, rework them and make them into something else. So that'll just about do it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all of those good things. Remember also I'm doing some sheet music and putting it on my website, nelsoneverhart.com. I would really like to see what other people are, are making of that, if anything. All right, thanks guys. See you later.